Chicken Licken. I remember this from when I was little. I love this book. I haven't read this particular version, but I did read Chicken Licken. And this one's by Mara Alperin. So Mara Alperin is the... Author. Yeah, she wrote the words. She's the author. And Nick East drew the pictures, which means he is the... Illustrator. Good work, Niam. He is the illustrator. Let's see. See, you can write this book belongs to here. I'm very fortunate to have Massey by lend us this one. For all these beautiful autumn leaves. And look, acorns. So these must be oak tree leaves. And it says here to Emily, Me Me Megan, Mary and Tom. And that's by Mara. And with love to Janet and Doug. And that's from Nick. Let's see. Okay, here's the first page. Let's see what we are. What we have. Sorry, sweetie. You get comfy first. All right, I'll move the book along. Maybe that'll help. There we go. So, on a sunny farm, there lived a fuzzy yellow chick called Chicken Licken. There. He was happy and hoppy, but he wasn't the brightest chicken in the coop. These are the chicken coops. Here we've got radishes growing, cabbage, on the table. carrots and lettuce. I'm not sure if you can find this there, darling. Yeah. But for now, let's I read want, the book. I want cabbage one on the table. You want to find the, the cabbage on the television. We'll see if we can find the cabbage Where's in the blender, blender on the television. Okay, we'll see if we can find it. Yes, but right now I'm My reading Chicken Licken, honey. So here we go, we're saying home, tweet, home above his house. That's supposed to be a s home, sweet home. But he's made it tweet, because chickies do tweet after all. Where's my hat? There's, I can't find it anywhere. There's his hat. Do you think that's his hat? Yes. Mm, okay, I think that's his hat, but you think his hat's that in the box. That's not his hat. That's not his hat. What is that then, darling? It's his hat. Okay, well, it's very interesting. There's... He's yellow and he becomes orange and white up here with stripes. But no. Okay. You believe his hat is in the box. I believe it's on his head. Mm -mm. But here we go. One warm autumn day, Chicken Licken was hop, skip, skipping through the woods when suddenly an acorn dropped from a tree and bounced off his head. There's the oak tree with the squirrel inside. And there are the acorns. And let's see. There he is. Hop, skip, skipping. Hop, skip, skipping. A bunny watching. And oh, here we go. Look. Click. Clack. Clonk. Oh, my feathers. Was that a piece of the sky? Mm -mm. He squeaked. Help. Oh, help. Trembling chicken licken scurried back to the hen house, squawking. The sky is falling. The sky, the sky is falling. falling. It's going to the hen house. It's not falling. What's happening, Niam? If the sky is not falling, what happened? Hmm. An acorn fell on his head. You're right. Here's Henny Penny's house. Look. What's all this noise? Clucked Henny Penny. The sky is falling, panted Chicken Licken. It went click, clack, clunk right on my head. There Henny Penny was. Making a cup of tea, possibly. Maybe about to pour it. Her, her little glasses are falling off and Chicken Licken has panicked her, hasn't he? Looked. Henny Penny dropped her spectacles. We saw that, didn't we? Dear me, dear me, she gasped. We must tell the king. He'll know what to do. So Chicken Licken and Henny Penny ran over to the duck pond, squawking and clucking. The sky is falling. We must find the king. There they are, panicked. Running across the bridge. No time to waste. Oh, here we go. Look. Did I hear the sky is falling? Quacked Ducky Lucky. Yes, it fell on my head. Click, clack, clonk, said Chicken Licken. What will uh, we do? Yeah. Cried Ducky Lucky. Yes, yes. The king will save us. Yes, Henny Penny yes. clucked. We must find yes, him yes. at once. Yes, yes. I know he's got a bit of a lump on his head, doesn't he? Oh, dear, poor Chicken Licken. It was quite a bump. From the acorn. And look, Ducky Lucky is quite panicked too now. So Chicken Licken, Henny Penny and Ducky Lucky dashed off Can again. Mommy. Squawking and clucking That's and quacking. The, mommy. the sky is falling. We mommy. must find the king.
That is that the mummy? You think Henny Penny's the mummy? Okay. Maybe he's she's Chicken Licken's hey, mummy. Boy. It's hard to tell because hey, he doesn't say mummy. Hey. Oh, he's pulling him. Is that kind name? Of no. no. The sky is falling, gobbled Turkey Lucky. Quick, take cover! And he leaped into the bushes to hide. Look, quick, take cover! And he jumps into the bushes. Yeah. There's no time to lose, cried Chicken yeah. Licken. Yeah. We yeah. must yeah. hurry to far down yeah. to yeah. find yeah. the king. Yeah. Yes, Stanley. Yeah. He's lost his hat. Yes. Jumping into the bushes, he lost his hat, didn't he? Oh, dear. Look. <coughs> so, Chicken Licken, yeah. Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky and Turkey Lucky charged down the path, shouting, The sky is falling! We must find the king! But it wasn't the king they saw. <gasps> Who did they see? It was Foxy Loxy. Uh-oh. What seems to be the matter, my fine feathered friends? grinned Foxy Loxy. The sky is falling, puffed Chicken Licken. We must tell the king. That's Foxy Loxy That's licked his lips. That's his best. Oh, he's not wearing pants, is he? Is that why, Niam? Yes, he's just wearing a top. But he is an animal, honey, so he's got fur to cover him, luckily. Poor little birds, he smirked. Come with me and I'll help you find the king. Mm -hmm. There's a bookshop, a spice shop, something went, called the cook pot. He went to all and he's looking at his clock. And what time is it? Lunch. Looks like it's almost one o'clock. Yes, lunchtime. Oh, let's see what happens. And so Foxy Loxy led the search for the king. Spicy, spicy, hot. Good reading, Neil. Spicy, spicy, hot. Good reading, Neil. Spicy, spicy. Yes. Spicy, spicy. Spicy, hot. This is spicy. Hot. This oh, is... bless you, Neem. You're doing such a good job trying to read. Isn't he, Turbin? Yeah. Good work, Neem. And so, Foxy Loxy led the search for the king. The animals started in the bookshop. Mm -hmm. The king's not in here, said Foxy Loxy, peeping into a recipe book. <gasps> Why is he looking in a recipe book for the king? Can you see him? And I don't see him here. How frightful, Foxy Loxy muttered. Yeah. Look, spice up your dinner. And what's he getting? Some garlic bulbs. Oh, dear. He's not under here. Oh, he's not under here. That's Chicken Licken speaking, sorry. It was the cook pot. Now I remember where the king is. He's saying he's not under here, Niam, not under the spice bench. He's saying it, he's not it, under here. Here. Well, that's Henny Penny, darling. He's She's saying that. She's saying that. You think she's saying it? Okay, darling. Is she actually saying this? He's not. Well, the speech it. bubble looks like it's coming from Chicken Licken. But it's okay if Niam believes it's Henny Penny saying it. No, I remember where the king is, Foxy Loxy smile, said with a sly smile. I invited him to my den for dinner. Oh, do say you'll join our feast. Spicy. Oh, hmm. Spicy. Hot. Yes. Spicy. Spicier. Hot. I wonder which spice he bought, Niam. The hot. The hot. You think he bought the hot one? Or oh, maybe he likes hot food. Oh, here we go. Look, there they are. Don't worry, my tasty little friends. It's not much further to my den, chuckled Foxy Loxy, starting to draw. Well, yes, he is giving them a clue, isn't he? He is calling them his tasty little friends. He's saying he them. Yes, what do you think is going to happen from all these little clues? It looks a bit like teal, doesn't it? Pot. He has a very big pot. Why do you think he has such a big pot, Niam? Because he has to cook. He has to cook, yes. And to cook some not tasty friends. Not his tasty friends? No. No, it's not kind to call them tasty friends and eat them then, is it? Let's see what's going to happen. Foxy Loxy opened the door and the birds waddled slowly inside. Foxy Loxy. Look, there's his den. It looks awfully dark in there, doesn't it? And look what's in the trash. You've even got some clues. Perhaps they shouldn't go in. Mm. There's a chicken bone. Or maybe a turkey bone. It was cold and dark in Foxy Loxy's den. I don't see the king, muttered Henny Penny. Perhaps he's running late. 
I can't see anything at all, whispered Chicken Licken. Let's see, see over here, Tan, the bone? Where is him? Yeah. yeah. Where is him? Well, let's see. Well, Foxy Loxy said that the, 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 the king was in his den. They're all seeming a bit confused now, although it is quite dark to see. Then Foxy Loxy lit the chandelier. It's almost time for dinner, what he purred. What What's for dinner? We asked got, Ducky we Lucky. Can't eat this. Oh no no no! We no, can't no. eat. No, we can't eat the candles, honey. No. He's got to cook, hasn't he? First, <gasps> there's the cooking pot with water. And what does he say? You are! Cried Foxy Loxy, and he leaped at the birds. No. Oh dear! Look at him, all hungry. There's a little bird coming out of his his watch, probably saying cuckoo cuckoo lunchtime. There's his pot of water that he's going to put them into. Help! They all cried. Help! Oh my, oh my, this does not look good, does it? Oh dear, come on friends, what will happen? And they squawked and screeched and fluttered and flapped until the whole den shook and the chandelier fell. Click, clack, clonk, on to Foxy Loxy's head. Boof! Oh, well that was lucky, wasn't it? Click, clack, clonk, boof, onto his head. Look at Henny Penny. <gasps> Look at Ducky Lucky, Lucky and Chicken Licken. Oh my! Oh dear. Yikes! shrieked Foxy Loxy. The sky really is falling! And he's running, he's off. And look, and his. And his. And his lump. He has a lump on his head. Yes, he does. And he dashed away as fast as he could, straight into. Who do you think he dashed into, everyone? <gasps> Let's see. The king! There's the king! It's a big cockerel. Greetings, crowed the king. What's this I hear about the sky falling? The whole town is in a flutter. But look, dear friends, the great blue sky is still up there. Yes, Neem, what is happening? He's coming back. Where's he going? Where's Foxy Loxy going? Yes, and who's arrested him? You can see from the sign the royal, the, police. the royal police have have, it, have put him in in the police van and they're taking him to jail. That's right, taking him to prison. The police jail. The police jail, yes. The, well, the royal prison dungeon, maybe. Dungeon. Chicken Licken gazed up and he saw that the king was right. Is that where he so is? the birds hop, skip, skipped one moment, Ellie, under the bright him. sky all afternoon. I think, he's I think that's Chicken Licken's farm, yes. I think and they the never place. saw Foxy Loxy ever again. Because See? there's a cop And he's and Foxy box. Loxy's been locked away. Can you read all That's the end. The we can. We're going to read can some more. There's a look at some of the yeah, other titles available. That's the end.